Hi y'all! It's that one girl you watch from time to time. I hope you are having yourself a wonderful day. Cause I know I am. You wanna know why I am? Because I get to do this with you. And you get to listen to me talk about my feelings. My beautiful feelings, because I have so many of them. I'm kidding. So, let's talk a little bit about um, the whole leafy situation. What's going on with that? Like, that's some crazy stuff, man. Getting kicked off the platform. Like, seriously? You know, a lot of people are saying, like, those these crybaby YouTubers are on Twitter crying around saying, Oh, yeah, I'm glad he's off, you know? Bullshit. That he bullies people? How is he bullying people? Tell me about that. What? Are you jealous because he can go up there for 10 minutes and talk about absolutely nothing and piss you off? Yeah, that's what Should it is. I post this video? Uh, you know, that, that's exactly what it is. Him. Him getting upset. Are you guys getting upset? Sorry, my kid distracted me there for a second. You guys are getting upset because he hurt your feelings by not even seeing anything. That's what's funny about the whole thing. I'm not saying a damn word. Other than, like, Pokemon's got a boyfriend. Like, whoosh. You mad because he said that? Get the hell out of here. No, come on. You guys just can't handle it. You can't handle that someone's sitting on the internet doing some absolutely nothing. You guys are trying hard, try hard, try hard. It's pure, utter jealousy. I know that little fucker. I knew he was going to get me too. You know, that's what it is. It's, it's jealousy. These, these creators that are like, oh yeah. We're so happy Leafy's finally off the YouTube, man. It's like, why? He wasn't doing nothing wrong. It's whatever, man. Whatever. Stupid, stupid, stupid level. <laughs> this game is so hard. I'll get through it, though. Um... Next we want to talk about Chris Hansen, the YouTube fucking scam artist. That's what I call him, Mr. YouTube scam artist. You know, recently he made a video, right? <laughs> and I've been watching Chris Hansen for a while on, the, on here. Like Kingstar says, you know, dude's entertaining, whether we like it or not. He's an entertaining dude. And he made one video. Out of all his videos I've watched, this video was probably the best video I've seen on, on here. And he talked about uh, sex, sex trafficking. Okay? I'm in Montana. There's a lot of sex trafficking going on in this state you know and um, when he put those two people on his video in regards to sex trafficking I thought it was really informative and I thought he did a good job at putting that information out there you know I, I that was one video I thought, wow, that's pretty cool that Chris Hansen did that, you know? He actually made a video where he put resources out there that would actually help survivors, you know? Help people that were actually victims of sex trafficking or see someone that's sick. You know, it was really informative and I was so happy. 
that that video was made. That being said, Chris Hansen is probably the worst on YouTube. Like, you got Onision, you got all these scumbag motherfuckers on here. And I, you know, I don't know all of them by names, because they're terrible with names, but they're not worth mentioning anyways. But even all of them together, even all of them together, Chris Hansen is probably the worst. He sat there. First off, and he's hired a man by the name of Anonymous Gene. And he hired him God damn it. To dox people. He won't flat out admit it that he did that. But everybody knows he did. There's been proof that he did. Uh, God damn it. Little fuckers. There's been proof that Chris Hansen has hired Gene to do it. Now, Chris Hansen's 50, 60 years old, right? You got someone like John Swan, who's what, 18, 19? So to Chris, he's like basically a, a kid, you know? Dude, like, you're gonna hire someone to dox kids? That's predatory behavior in itself. Why don't you have a seat, Chris Hansen? Like, seriously. Like, what is wrong with you? You gonna make someone dox a kid? I mean, like, I'm not calling John Swan a kid or nothing, but to him, he is a kid, you know? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You should know better than that. And talking about bringing up his classmates and shit? Like, what is wrong with you, Chris Hansen? Like, I don't even know where to begin how messed up that shit is. I, I don't... And then not only that, you got... People. Victims. Putting their trust into Chris Hansen, right? Straight up victims. And what is he doing? He's literally having these victims call him daddy, our dad, our father. How sick is that? You know, like, like that's sick to me. But not only that, they're 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 telling their very vulnerable stories to him online. And they're putting their trust into Chris Hansen, right? And then they're telling these victims, oh, go ahead and tell your story on here. But guess what? I'm going to sell the story now. And I'm going to put it on national TV. And you ain't going to be able to do a damn thing about it. How? Manipulative and predatory is that? That is disgusting. Is he gonna pay these victims? Oh, and another thing that nobody has brought up. Not one commentator, commentator has brought this up, but I, I, I want to know the answer to this. Chris Hansen says that super chats and all that go to charity. Dude's got a whole bunch of subscribers, right? He's getting paid by YouTube. He's partnered with YouTube. Where is all the money going that he's getting from YouTube off of these victims and survivors? Where is that money going? Because I know it's not going to a charity. So why aren't the victims getting any of that money? They should be getting the money, not him. That's their story, not his. Why is he getting paid for that? They should be getting something. Something. That is wrong, and I want to know why no one has brought this up yet. Nobody has. Chris Hansen, answer that. Answer that question. I want to know. I want to know. I really do. I want to know the answers to that. 
I, you know, I want to know the answers to that question. Ah, uh, this is the hard part, guys. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I hate this part. Oh, no, I died. So, a good last thing I want to talk about is Pokemon. So, she made a video. <laughs> and everybody is wondering, is, is it genuine? Is it fake? Is it, you know, like, whatever. You know, honestly, Pokemon, or Pokey, or whatever the hell her name is, She's probably one of the faker YouTubers that I've seen, or Twitchers, that I have seen on here. I mean, like... Like, her whole show is, like, totally fake, like... How could you think her apology video is anything but... You know, uh... A debate was brought up between Augie and... Nick on the live, and I got to listen to it. And thinking, you know, because I believe it was Augie who said that uh, the viewers aren't really like into it like he is, you know. And I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true, you know, like because, like, I know I'm into it. Like, that's why I got started into it. Because I started watching their shows, you know? Like, it's badass. And I like watching it and stuff, but... You know, that's... that. I get into everything. I want, I subscribe to all their friends and everything else because I'm interested in YouTube drama like this. Now, I may just be a weird old nerd like, like that, but honestly, like... I don't know. I think a lot of viewers do get into it, you know? More than they think. Because it's it's very interesting. It, I, I don't even watch cable anymore, like, once I started getting into the YouTube drama, because it's more entertaining than cable, you know? And that was an argument that was brought up, and honestly, oh my god. You know what, I'm gonna just try it. I can't get hit over here. Um, honestly, I think. Uh, I think they were wrong for assuming that, you know. Well, I think Augie was wrong in that aspect, you know. That us viewers don't really get into it. Because we do, you know. We're not just brainless people who watch their show, because I'm not, definitely not, uh, I really enjoy their content, you know, if we were just brainless people watching their show, it'd be kind of boring, you know, to most people, they wouldn't watch it, I guess that's my theory on it, <laughs> so, honestly, back to Pokemon, do I think she was genuine? No, not at all. <laughs> I think she's very fake. You know... So, that that's my kind of thoughts on it, you guys. Um, I'm gonna call it a night. Hopefully you liked my video, and... Maybe you'll see me eventually beat this guy. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see if I can figure out how to close out of here. Oh, give me a minute. I'm getting there. There we go. Alright, y'all. Have a good night. No, no, stop. Stop recording.